Hello, listeners. So we are back again with one of our recent favorites. Not recent favorites. We just listened to them recently again. Uh, Nemesis, and this time we are listening to their most popular track, uh, which has been recommended several times. The track is titled Kobe, and this this track was basically uh, I was reading somewhere their first track of their second album. And it was released back in 2013 or 12. The video says that it was released in 2013, but I think they prepared or they even launched it before that for their fans. So I just can't wait to get started. So shall we? Let's do it. Me okay. too. <laughs> Three, two, one, play. I'm increasing my volume here. This song deserves it. This this song demands it. Demands it. What are these strings? Keep an eye on it. <clears throat> Is this Taka? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. This is very good form for sprinting. <laughs> very, very correct form of sprinting. Look at that. Yes. Right, back straight.
I'm, I'm surprised that you you find so tiny things um, that you find happiness in, you know, looking at him running with this good form. <laughs> such, it was such a pleasure. <laughs> He was running like he's, he's just carefree, right? <laughs> But he's having a proper form, <clears throat> as you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good sprinting form. <laughs> he, uh, I mean, looking at him, at him he it, it does seem lean even now. Yes. Right? So um, I don't know whether he has any background in athletics. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, it, looking at him again doesn't seem like he has any background in athletics. <laughs> he just r- likes to run probably. But... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that also kind of uh, exaggerated the enjoyment because mm. of the track. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And um, we had listened to this particular track before, so we were just <laughs> waiting for the right time to listen, listen to, to it together. together. Absolutely, listen to it together with all of you. Um, uh, what I love the most about this band is, or especially this track. We have listened to Gono Jovar and uh, other track as well from from them. But here, the fullness after the yes. three minute mark, yes. the way everything is just banging so hard, the guitars, the drum and everything, it feels so full when you listen to it and you just can't help but head bang on that. And Zohad's voice on top of that. He he has been a true rock star. I we we keep on saying that he is just brilliant, and the way he sings, he is a true rock band singer. The lead vocalist, the kind of vocalist that you that you look for. He has all all the passion with which he sings, and here in in this particular track as well, when he sings that line, Kobe, the the chorus part. he basically is depicting the frustration the frustration really comes out with his voice you can literally hear it he's just on the verge of getting so angry he's so angry <laughs> literally he's just angry if you notice the lyrics as well he's just frustrated and angry and he does it brilliantly through his vocals so yeah the video is one of one of the thing is that i was reading somewhere that this is also one of the finest videos of it's time so i think it was released back in 2011 12 or as per youtube video in 13 but this is considered as one of the finest videos that was done back then so interesting i don't know how you perceive the video but yeah you go if you want to talk music about first or the video honestly in some track for some tracks the video is just <clears throat> distraction mm. so hey. for me <clears throat> I've as you said I've heard this before multiple times um the the experience of listening individually alone mm. and listening together is very very different yes <clears throat> we have talked about this before as well that listening together and talking about it uh gives you so many new perspectives so many new angles to look at Mm. Uh, at 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 a song right 3 minute 4 minute song <clears throat> but there's so much information there's yeah. so much to consume mm. when you do it together i i i think compared it to uh, it's like a book club right mm. Mm. you read a book uh, you you consume it in in a way but then you go to the book club and then you talk about it and i'm going to come back to the book club later on remind me mm. uh, <clears throat> but again in this particular track um apart from zohad every single person has done brilliantly amazing I mean, bass bass guitars leads rhythms the drums every single person was like i'm not going to give you any space <laughs> i'm not going <laughs> this is my show yeah right yeah. and every person did that every person did that every person owned this track somehow i don't know what the process of i mean what is the process of writing music Hmm. Nemesis, right? Uh, do they individually write music? Do they come together to? Um, I mean, they would of course come together to discuss. Okay, I I want to do this or hmm. I want to do that. Hmm. But individually, do they write notes individually <clears throat> on a theme or uh, you know? Uh, here it felt like that everyone wanted to out outdo everyone else, <laughs> <coughs> and the and the culmination of it. 
just came out rocking. Brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> the drummers, right? So without looking at the drummer performing it, you can totally hear the drummer is just, you know, he's, <laughs> he has this energy that he's just trying to explode yep. through his music, through his drums, you know? He want to tear the drums apart. Mm. <laughs> yeah, feels true. Like. It feels like... <clears throat> The guitar, the guitar is the bass, every single thing, and then of course vo Zohar's vocals. I, 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 multiple times I thought that this is his best vocal so far. Yeah, best vocals. Down. And then when down. I, then I went back to hear Gono Juwar, and then I come back to this one just to see if my perception of <clears throat> was correct or not. Um, in Gono Juwar, he did rock. Mm. He did. Here, you are correct. This is more full of emotions. Mm -hmm. he, the, the depiction of emotion is uh, done brilliantly and that actually makes the whole vocals more fulfilling. Yeah. <clears throat> this, this gruffiness in his voice, uh, he's, he's singing on top of his lung. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that, that not only comes out, but it also evokes those same um, <clears throat> sentiments in the listeners. Yeah. Right. So I, I, yeah, I am totally, I totally think that this track is so far the best the we have heard from Nemesis. We have, yeah. of, of course, very small sample size, very yes. small sample size. I have to repeat this. Um, but so far, Gonajua was really nice, really fun, rocking. But this, was one notch above absolutely right and uh, and so far we have heard so many <clears throat> bands as you were saying that uh <clears throat> recent favorites nemesis is uh i mean especially when we talk about bangladesh region where we are we are hearing a lot of new bands <clears throat> nemesis right up there with level five yeah highway um uh, carnival mm -hmm. right uh, I we enjoyed Vikings a lot as well. Yes. Um, we uh, art signature. You know they are they have their own very unique, unique genre or yeah. unique sounds. Uh, but when it comes to really rocking you, hmm. you know, recently I remember we did Introit. Introit, yeah. Hmm. Right, Introit, and that rocked us really well. And this yeah. Nemesis, this really did. Yeah. Even though when I'm listening to without again on Spotify, not I haven't heard it on Spotify. Without the um, video, I'm doing something else. I'm working mm -hmm. on whatever. Uh, this does this does wrong. This does want me to like you know put everything down and just enjoy it mm -hmm. physically, <laughs> physically. Yeah, there are some songs that um, you enjoy mentally, soulfully, right? Our um, <clears throat> signature is one of them. Yes. Right, um, uh, Chilte Road was one of them. Mm. Right, that 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 crushes your soul. This was a physical one for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a proper concert song. Proper concert. Absolutely yes, yes. This this would have been so much fun. Yes. So much fun. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people will come and tell us and uh, make us proper jealous. <laughs> <laughs> totally. But, you know, uh, we heard um, <clears throat> recently Amar Shoto from Carnival. Yes. Right? Yes. And we were wondering that how fun it would be in the co in the concerts and people came and tell, told us, you know what, it's just crazy in concerts. <laughs> and you know what it does? <laughs> it, it, it makes us so... Much envious, you know. It's it's a very envy feeling that you know what we wish we could attend one of those, and if that happens in this region where we live, we would totally do that. Yeah, for sure, for sure, <clears throat> we would love to absolutely. And you mentioned Amar Shoto. I think we, um, whenever we do any reaction for Warface, I mean, people just go <laughs> yes. on and share their experience about the concerts that they have attended, the live concerts, the complete environment, the aura of the band, the band members, their stage presence, everything. And it definitely I makes mean, envious. Bose Archie, when we did it, when we recorded that particular video, 
I am not kidding. I was sweating. <laughs> right? I was totally sweating. And that, it was that kind of track. But this is not about Bosi Archer, right? So, <laughs> Nemesis Kobe. This was actually very physical, very rocking, as they do. And each one of them are absolute rock stars. Absolutely. Right? <clears throat> we recently got to know that they are recording their new album. Yes. And uh, it would be releasing in 2023. So Christmas can't come earlier. <laughs> now, coming back to the... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you, you were mentioning about the band members, right? So mm -hmm. it's, it's important to mention that um, the lead guitarist for this particular track was Maher Khan who is highly regarded in a circle and even in the fans as well. And um, I think Oni Hassan mentioned in uh, Gono Jawar, he commented there, that he still misses Maher Khan's solo because the band split or Maher Khan left after that. So you would love to know where is Maher Khan, what is he doing? Because obviously he's no more part of Nemesis and people dearly miss him as you can see in the comments. And here as well in this particular track, his solo was absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous is the word that comes to my mind when I listen to that particular solo. Right, coming back to the book club. <clears throat> Looking at their videos, um, Kobe and Gono Jawar, I feel like they are fan of sci -fi science fiction. Sci -fi. Could be. Hmm. Could be. If they are, if they are, and if you all are, if some of you are, I am, hmm. right? So I was re recently reading um, Red Rising, hmm. uh, the whole series, five books in total so far, and two are left. And this, the, when I finished it two days ago, I'm still reeling from it. So maybe you also share uh, your favorite science fiction. Could um, be, yes, you should. Yeah, please do, please do, please do. I mean, this is very off topic. <laughs> very off nemesis but because their videos do remind me because where they are standing there are moons there are satellites there yes. are, you know there are radars <clears throat> yep there there's inverted gravity mm -hmm. i mean it does uh, invoke my sci <laughs> inner science fiction fan right so do tell do tell what's your favorite science fiction series or book i can tell you mine Mm. Uh, so far, this has been hands down the Expanse series in mm -hmm. which we have nine books, but hands down the best so far for me, my favorite. And Red Rising was amazing as well. So do tell me yours if you do read. The the Expanse, uh, I think they have also started to create the TV series out yes. of it, right? Yeah. There are already five seasons. Five seasons, on yeah. On Amazon Prime. Mm. Uh, but um yeah i'm a fan of the box mm. although the tv series has done good job mm. it's enjoyable if you haven't read the books you would enjoy it but mm. if you have read the books then you would be uh you know missing a lot of things absolutely and although it's enjoyable i'm talking about books so yeah and you mentioned to talk about the strings attached to zohat right in the video yes <clears throat> What do you think does it depict? I'll, I'll tell you my version. I think if I look at the lyrics, because obviously we cannot really get the entire message. Let's just I think we will arrive at the same point. Maybe I think we will not. arrive at the same conclusion. <laughs> do tell. Let's see. But I think it's, it, it is basically about the societal norms, <clears throat> as I feel. When he is walking, he has those strings attached. And to me, it felt like there, if you just compared with the lyrics as well it feels like there are restrictions conditions expectations from society or obligations which are holding him back to basically voice his his opinion or to express himself completely that's what i felt when i look to the translation and see those string guitar so there is something that is holding him back and in the end that's what i felt where why he was sprinting is basically to move on from that and try to just express himself out that's that's what i felt right okay okay then we don't converge <laughs> <laughs> i think so i think that he's trying to um he's trying to move on from his past relationship mm -hmm. and emotionally <clears throat> that relationship that he hasn't been moved on from is 
uh, has a drag on his daily life emotionally it he it drags him mm. in every aspect of life you know work life or whatever mm. um and he's just frustrated uh yes because of so mm. if, if he's saying that if you cannot be mine then why this drag why mm. am i attached to those mm. feelings so this is what i think this this i think actually makes more sense than my version <laughs> <laughs> but anyways because there was also you are right because there is a, a hypothetical or superficial place called bliss motel which he yes. is going to go to right so he's yeah. not where, fine. where the ex lives <laughs> the, the true happiness his imagination yeah he thinks that there is true happiness there but it's not <laughs> it's not yeah yeah, yeah that makes right. more sense all right i think um we enjoyed this a lot we definitely did we definitely did and we are definitely waiting for the next track um they commented on our channel as well that they would be coming up uh, early next year right if i'm not forgetting if yeah, i'm remembering it right 23 yeah. 2023 <clears throat> so let's hope they they come up with something like this and we just want to listen to it and head back together so we'll we'll watch out their space and their channel for sure so Thank you so much once again and apologies for getting a bit late on this but as i said in the beginning we wanted to experience it at the right time when we are in the right space so shout out to all of you who recommended this track from the beginning and keep recommending if you know other nemesis work that you think is really amazing i think they have one track in english as well so we can experience it together again all right then let's conclude it here then We'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.